Welcome to another episode of To the Fullest with Jason Froberg. Make sure you give us a like, subscribe, ring the bell, follow us on social media, and support us on Patreon and PayPal. Today on the podcast, we have engineer and producer BK Robinson and professional fight referee and recording artist Tony Weeks. How are you guys doing today? Great. It's great. so good to have right. you on the podcast. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Happy to be here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. I know we have some uh, some bigger things coming up, BK and I. And I know you and BK have some big things coming up, so it's going to be some great stuff to talk about today. And, uh, and I want to start with you, Tony. I mean, uh, it's pretty amazing what you do. You're a uh, professional fight referee, a UFC judge. And uh, it's just, uh, how, how did you get into all this? You know, are you a fighter yourself? You, uh, you practice martial arts? Well, actually, yeah. I, uh, you know, I grew up in uh, Brooklyn, in New York, Brooklyn, New York. And I started out in martial arts. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> and, um, yeah, you know, everything just, just went from there. I was always into boxing. You know, I grew up during the uh, Muhammad Ali era. Oh, cool. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was, uh, I was always, you know, I always loved boxing. And um, what had happened was, uh, I, at the time, I was uh, an athletic director in the uh, federal prison system. And we had an uh, inmate up there who was a, a boxer. And what I, I got in touch with one of the local trainers there, and he was interested in training him when he got out. So uh, what I decided to do was, uh, you know, have him bring up a couple of fighters and uh, uh, we make a little show out of it, you know, have them get in the ring and spar there, you know. So, um, you know, when you're working in the prison system, everything's about safety and, and keeping everything under control <clears throat> and security. Uh, so what I did, I uh, put all the security procedures in place before I presented it, you know, to, to the authorities. And uh, once they approved it, uh, we uh, set up the ring, uh, actual boxing ring in the rec yard. And it was on a Saturday, and I'll never forget it. You know, it was like uh, every inmate was in that place was on yeah. that yard. And you had inmates literally turning down visits to uh, <laughs> come and see, because this has never been done before. Yeah, in, I've in never a, heard of it. In the federal system. In the states, they have, in the state system, they have boxing, but in the federal system, it never been done before. And it hasn't been done since. But anyway, uh, so we, we brought the fighters up, and uh, we had a uh a couple of fighters fight first, and then we I made the uh, with the inmate and the, and the other professional fighter the main event type thing. So the guys get up there and they started sparring, and I remember I said, "Oh my gosh, wait a minute, I forgot to get a referee," you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and and so I asked one of the trainers. Uh, uh, his name was Beto Martinez. He he passed away some years back, but anyway, I asked him, "Hey, do you mind if I get up there?" And he, no, I said, "Go up there," and I, and I get up there and. And it was like instantly, you know, I fell in love with it. You know, it was like, man, you know, I want to do this. I like this. You know, it was it was fun. I was kind of I didn't know anything about the rules and regulations, but um, I was kind of emulating my, uh, my idol, uh, Richard Steele, you know, on how to break them up and, you know, just, <laughs> just do this, do that. But Referring anyway, in your own event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh, uh, um at, at the end of the show, uh, the trainer, Beto Martinez, asked me if I ever done that before. I said, no. He says, well, you know, you should look into it because you got good natural movements. And when, and, and uh, he took it a step further and called the uh, Arizona. It was, I was living in Arizona at the time in Phoenix. And he called the Arizona State Boxing Commission and uh, said, hey, man, you, you need to give this guy a shot, you know. And at the time, I didn't know that uh, Beto was a very influential person in boxing. He's, he's worked with Muhammad Ali, a lot of different uh, great fighters and stuff. And because the usual procedure, it, you know, you start out in the amateur ranks, then you work your way up. You know, um, I was, he was going off the word of Beto and, and uh, you know, Beto's rep was on the line and said, hey, no, if Beto says give this guy a shot, this must be something to him. Mm -hmm. So what he did was uh, the, uh, uh, the Arizona State Commission uh, gave me a shot when uh, they had a, a tough man contest. Uh -huh. <laughs> and said, okay, we're going to look at you in a tough man contest. Now, if you know anything about tough man contests, you know, as anybody. Man. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anybody and everybody's in that uh, ring, and you know, you so you're not dealing with disciplined fighters. But luckily, everything went right and everything went good, and he liked what he saw. And, and he told me, hey, yeah, come back Monday and, you know, take your physical, and everything is ready to go. 
See, oh, wow. got walked right in there. <laughs> that lets everybody know. You never know when your opportunity is going to come. Be ready. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That's beautiful. Yeah. So, uh, so was there like a whole schooling process of like learning all the rules and like becoming like, uh, you know, comfortable with how you're going to be making your judgments and calls in the ring? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, first of all, n looking back now at see, the good thing about it is I have it on tape. <laughs> and when I look at it now, I saw what Beto saw in me. Yeah. Uh, I was, I'm, I'm a natural at it. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. You know, and so. Uh, being a natural at it, the only thing I had to do was learn the rules and regulations mm -hmm. and uh, learning how to apply them, so forth and so on. And uh, so it was more or less on the job training. Yeah, there's no school, okay. particular school. I mean, they have different seminars uh, for officials, but there's no particular schools, but everything is on the job training. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, and uh, I mean, it's a it's a wild, wild field you're in, you know, yeah. and you're in the ring with some monsters, man. Absolutely. Does it, does it ever get hairy in there? You ever start getting into a little bit, uh, people getting a little too aggressive or, uh, you know, you, you start put you in danger at any point? <laughs> well, I, I mean, it's a fight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a fight, but it, it, it it's kind of under control because of the rules and regulations that are yeah. uh, implemented, you know, in these contests. But... Uh, you know, when I yeah I get up there, you know, you human, you feel, you know, you got the you, literally we have the two guys' lives in our hands, and that's a yeah. heavy responsibility. Absolutely, you know, besides enforcing the rules and regulations and stuff, and uh, and of course you 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 you're seen with around the world, you know, millions of people, and with today's social media, uh, everything is just going out with a touch of a, a button, yeah. you know. But yeah, you know, you you feel that. The uh, anxiousness, it's a strange feeling. I mean, it's a mixed feeling of excitement, you know, and anticipation, a little, little anxiety, you know, uh, yeah. And maybe a little get out the way for these one of these guys to uh, catch me in the job. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, <right? laughs> oh, I've been hit before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw a video of you online just covered in blood too yeah. and not your blood but no, you were no. breaking these guys up and yeah. they, you were just just everything was covered in blood yeah that 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 particular photo went viral i yeah. mean um uh, it really depicts what boxing is all about it's like they say you, you could play basketball you could play football and other sports but you can't play boxing and you that's the reality yes yeah. <laughs> that's the re that's boxing. the reality of it yeah yeah oh that's beautiful i love that i'll never forget that but you can't play boxing <laughs> that's it that's fantastic <laughs> yeah and and really i mean these guys lives are on the line and their Absolutely. careers are in your hands as well you Absolutely. know and um I, I like watching ufc and mm -hmm. sometimes people get a little upset if say like the fight gets called when mm -hmm. someone's on the ground not defending themselves mm -hmm. and it's just like they have to do that man yeah. you know you're yeah they're gonna have serious brain damage and oh, trauma yeah. and it's like the the yeah. ref is like saving their life right uh, now absolutely you see that you know the, the general public really has no idea how much pressure we under in that ring or the octagon or, yeah or, you know uh and they bear no responsibility what happens in that ring we do you know, and we're trained to see and observe and, and know what's happening in that ring. I can, I can tell from a fighter's demeanor, okay, whether he's had enough or or or, or he's getting to that point. You know, so um, they're not trained like the way we're trained to see what we see. You could be sitting at ringside and not see what I see because I'm in that ring right up close, to like like I'm talking to you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's wild. I've gotten to mm. do a couple fights. Uh, you know, VK's gotten me out there, and, I, <laughs> and sitting that close to the fight, it's a completely different experience, yeah. man. And yeah. you can really, yeah, it's it the energy and and what you see is is not mm. what you see on television. No, exactly. No. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty yeah. cool, man. Yeah. And so you're you're actually you just pa passed eight hundred and fifty. Fights. I think you. I saw online you were yeah. doing. You just hit, did 851 fights somewhere around that. You know, I, I really don't keep count of it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I. You know, the last time I looked it was eight something. Eight. You know, eight, 850 something fights. That's amazing. You know? How long have you been yeah. doing this for? Oh man, uh, what since ninety four? Oh wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. And, almost uh, thirty years. And uh, actually, uh, like I said, I started in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, of course I had dreams and aspirations of coming to the big time here in Las Vegas. And, uh, you know, one thing led to another, and I came to Las Vegas in 2000, 
in uh, when I came here in, in, in uh, excuse me, I came to uh, Las Vegas in '95, and I didn't get on to 2000. Oh, yeah. So it was a little stretch in between. But uh, the good thing about it was um, uh, I was still able to go back to uh, Phoenix and do professional fights. And in actuality, um, when I got here, uh, because I like I say, when I started, I never did amateur fights. I went straight to the professional ranks. But when I got here, I started, you know, just do some amateur fights and, and get familiar with the people around town and let them get to know to see you. And actually, Floyd was uh, Floyd Mayweather was a, was a amateur. I didn't do his fight, but he was an amateur at the time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. You want to tell us a little bit about that? In terms of? Just working with Floyd Mayweather or anything like that? Uh, well, as far as doing his fights? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I mean, he's an extraordinary fighter, you know. Yeah. Um, the, the, the quickness... Uh, the agility, the defensive uh, um, uh, moves that he makes in that ring is just is just incredible. When you really see this up close and personal, you know you're right there and you're really seeing these guys move the, and 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 the way they're maneuvering, the way they're setting up punches. Yeah, he he was just phenomenal in in the ring, and it's, it was certainly an honor to have him on my resume as a referee. That's awesome. Yeah, he, he follows the number one rule of a fight. Don't get hit. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> a lot of people don't like that. Yeah. yeah. But hey, that's what, you, that's what you get paid to do to me. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, it's yeah. not an easy thing to do either when no. you're going into a no. ring with somebody who's been training their whole life to hit people. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Freaking Floyd Mayweather, man. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, uh, cool, man. I mean, uh, so you have a... Uh, a record you're working on as but, well you're you're moving into being a recording yeah, artist yes yes that's that's my uh that's my next love or uh, you know so to speak it was interesting i'm I tell you how i really started we uh the different sanctioned organizations like wba wbc and ivf they every year they have a convention and uh, i believe it was it was at a yeah uh w wba convention uh, we was in indonesia and uh, what had happened was you know, they had a live band pay playing, uh, you know, um, at the conference. And so the band, you know, was like, listen, uh, we're going to uh, take a little 15-minute break, uh, but does anybody want to come up and do a number, you know? And I'm looking around. Like, you know, <laughs> Why did they like, say that? Why did they yeah, say that? You know, but with my heart going like, okay, okay I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll do it. And I got up there and, uh, and did a little number with the band, and everybody went, went crazy whoa you know and ever since then they were like man you need to start a group you need to start you know something so it kind of started from there you know with with the boxing oh that's pretty cool so uh, uh you playing any instruments on the no no i just just sing yeah 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 that's pretty amazing yeah. man so uh and then uh have you been like going around town jamming at some of these open mic nights I, yeah i go like to some that? of the yeah. uh, open mic there's another a place uh bootleggers oh yeah 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 I know bootleggers. I, 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 actually it was funny too because i um uh what's the guy clint holmes uh, I yeah think he was, i know clint holmes yeah at the time his wife was running that and i just walked in with a couple of friends and he recognized me from you know the box and you know, we started talking and because I had told him, say, yeah, I, I like to, you know, you know, start a little group sometime and, you know, get a little inside. So I'm just sitting there, and then all of a sudden, his wife calls me, oh, t we, t we got Tony Weeks referee here. You want to do a little number? <laughs> 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 you, you know what I mean? So it was like, you know, I knew, you know, it was like, you know, hey, uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm not turning this down. Let's let's get up there and let's let's do this number and yeah, but it, yeah, we did it and everything was cool, you know. And you know, that kind of reminded me of uh, 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 when I first came here to Vegas, and um, I first met Richard Steele, my my uh, my mentor. Uh, and I'm walking in the gym and introducing myself. You know, I'm in street clothes and I'm introducing myself. Hey, I'm you know Tony Weeks. I'm an inspiring referee, and I just moved there. Blah blah blah. And there were some guys in the ring sparring. Some fighters in the ring sparring. He says, "Get up there." And, and I didn't hesitate. I didn't, you know, I, I'm in that street clothes. I got up there and did one round. And he's, and he, he said, "Come on back, you know, come on down, come on back on the you know, on Monday and stuff." You know. So I kind of knew when someone gives you that open door, you know, you you always right. got to be kind of can uh, camera ready. Yeah, you know, and right. so let let's let's do it. You never know. Yeah. That's amazing, man. Yeah, that's true. You know, opportunity uh, usually only knocks one time, man. Oh, yeah. That's right. It doesn't right. sit around waiting for you to make up yeah. your mind. <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah. 
And uh, you're uh, so you're working on the record with uh, BK yeah, at yeah. the studio yeah. that BK's got yes. going on over there. It's yes. a beautiful studio you have. Oh, I was yeah. just over there checking that studio. Yeah. Out. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate you. Yeah. You know, uh, we we trying to not be too uh, too brash with it. We we don't yeah. want to let everybody know. We kind of want to yeah. uh, surprise them a little bit. Okay. Um, so, but the the project is coming along great. Uh, we've tried a couple different uh, avenues. Uh, we just can't get uh, get away from Tony Weeks, referee. <laughs> he, and he's too, he's so great at it. Yeah. yeah. But when people see uh, Tony Weeks Part Two, ah, and we're gonna yeah. give them something else to cheer <laughs> because he's been holding it back for long enough, and mm. uh, we're gonna try to get out uh, what he has uh, to offer mm. people, and, and it's gonna be a surprise. Mm. That's beautiful, man. That's absolutely beautiful, and that's right. really what this life's about. You know, yeah. it's about just you know, yeah. you know, fulfilling all these uh, yeah. these beautiful potentials that yeah. you have, and absolutely. bringing a lot of love to the world. And and music's one of the oh. best ways to do that. Oh, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. You know, uh, you know, growing up during the '60s, '70s, beautiful era, you know, of music, uh, and you know, when I, for me, I noticed, you know, as a singer. You learn to appreciate all music. Yeah, yes. I mean, there's some country songs I like. There's some, you know, you just learn yes. to, you, you listen to the lyrics, you listen to the beat, you, you know, and yeah, it, it just, yeah, it just hits you. Yeah, I love it. You yeah. know, I love it. Yeah, and speaking of that, that '60s, '70s type of music, this is where we're right in that little groove, so to speak. Um, okay. You know, it's still, it's never went away. Um, these sounds are here to stay. Um, and we really have some surprises uh, coming forward. Um, so kind of look out for us across town. The Tony Weeks Project, hmm. you will not be able to forget it at all, trust mm -hmm. me. That's beautiful, man. I dig it. So is that, that's kind of your vibe? You're doing um, like the soul, like rock kind of vibe? Or what, what's, what's well, this, you what know, are you going uh, after? Mainly, you know, mainly you know, a, lot of, you know, a lot of rhythm and blues. Rhythm and blues. Of, but like I say, I, I, I've sung other songs. I've, yeah. uh, and, and, you know, uh, in uh, different formats and stuff so uh, yeah I, I can do it all nice yeah what are some of the influences you got going on for this wow you or know for, what are uh, some of your major influences uh, growing uh, up uh, a better uh, of question. course of course yeah the temptations oh, i love the temptations. you can't you oh, wow you know you can't beat the music you know growing up you know we dancing to the beat you know marvin gay oh. <laughs> yeah yeah you know just uh uh yeah Listen to those guys, and and maybe a lot of people are surprised when I say Tom Jones. Oh, Tom Jones had a lot of soul in him. Right. He had, a, you know, he did, you right. know, not unusual, you know. <laughs> yeah, he just yeah. So you know, like I say, during that era, there was a lot of, lot of great artists. Oh, absolutely. In there, you know, and uh, you know, even funny as as a, as a little boy, uh, the the uh, first record that I wanted to, um, uh, and it was a Christmas present. Uh, from my father it was the rolling stones <laughs> yeah time is on my side okay. <laughs> yeah mm -mm. yeah mm -mm. <laughs> yeah and stuff so yeah like i said i just grew up watching that stuff and uh yeah it's it, you know like you say music yeah you know i don't know what the world would do without music oh guarantee <laughs> <You> guarantee <laughs> yeah. yeah and, and what's yeah. what's really uh what's really um interesting is that for for what for what tony does um he's out there in that ring stopping two guys going to war fighting for everything mm -hmm. and then he goes and sing a love song yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know because that's yeah. that's pretty much what he yeah. do he's yeah. he, his songs are about love mm -hmm. relationships mm -hmm. good times mm -hmm. things that seems like we forgetting a lot in music nowadays mm -hmm. music ain't oh, yeah. isn't really uh appreciating that yeah. so i'm glad oh, we're yeah. able to throw our, our coin in the hat so oh, to speak yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you got the uh, <laughs> you got amazing artists like Megan Thee Stallion with wet ass pussy coming out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Something that just kind of yeah. wouldn't have flown back in our days. Yeah, <laughs> you know, art art is uh, you know in the eye of the beholder, I guess. Yeah, whoever wants true. to call that art. <laughs> but yeah, I'm oh, I'm looking forward to. Uh, to the new Tony Weeks project that's going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. Are you planning on doing like putting together a band and and playing some live shows around town or oh, anything I, like absolutely, that? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. We you know um, there's no limit. You yeah. know, let's 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 lay it out there. And let's see let's see where it goes. You know, there. You know, when I first came here to Vegas, um, and uh, 
you know, people were telling me, oh, you can't get on as a referee, man. They these they raise these guys from pups, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I remember walking in the MGM Grand and standing out. It, it, the, the garden was closed, but standing outside the MGM Grand Garden and said, you know, one day I'm going to be I'm going to be in there one day, you know. And, you know, is 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 like the old saying, never give up. You know, you never know. You 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 never know when the, if you when you give up, then it's, it definitely it's definitely over. You know, um, and like I say, I just have to give credit to a lot to boxing itself. You know, because I never forget it uh, um, when I first got on here in Vegas. Uh, Mark Ratner was the executive director at the time, and he called me up to the offices. He gave me the the whole spiel about everything, the do's and don'ts. I never forget. He stopped and he says, uh, "Understand one thing." I said, "What is it?" says you're about to be introduced to the world uh, and and mm. it, it, it even though i know boxing is seen around the world and around the country it never really dawned on me that yet y- you're about to be introduced, introduced to around the world. the world and and when i fly out to do fights in other country and i go to different other countries you think you'd be incognito no people re- hey man you, you know, they recognize oh, yeah. you and stuff you know and then, then, then of course, you know, um, being in the movies, and I've been in uh, two, actually three movies. I, I'm, I just finished filming uh, Creed three. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah oh. I just finished fi- filming Creed three, and I was in um, uh, Sylvester Stallone's last Rocky movie, the last, a little small part, but it was yeah. in, in, in the last Rocky movie, and of course, the movie Southpaw. And then I, I did a little Audi, Audi commercial. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> so. Yeah, so, um, yeah, just being seen worldwide is, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's wild that yeah. that becomes your, uh, becomes your reality, you know. Oh, yeah. But it's like the fighters might change, but you're always in that yeah. ring. <laughs> oh, <laughs> exactly. yeah. Always. Yeah. yeah. Always. Yeah. yeah, that's so crazy. Yeah, yeah. and I, then I, you know, I know what you mean by standing outside the MGM Grand Garden, yeah. man. It, it seems so foreboding and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden you're inside doing this thing that you've you're been right working there. your whole life towards and and, and it's still so yeah. surreal to me i can't yeah. i really can't believe i'm doing what i'm doing really yeah you know and um it, it's not a job to me you know uh, when if it was a job it's too much pressure you <laughs> yeah know, really oh yeah guaranteed. too much pressure too much abuse you could take from people and uh, you, you know but um no, it, 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 when you have a love and respect for the sport, uh, is and th- there's a different understanding that you have, and you know you're able to deal with the, the, the negative stuff because there's always the positive and there's always the negative. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, being a referee, how many times you have to hear, "Hey ref, what was that? <laughs> yeah. What you calling? Where is, it? Where is he? You're a bomb. You're, you're not a bomb, because <laughs> uh, you know, we, yeah, right. And I mean, that's the most. I mean, there's so much pressure on that position, right. you know, and so yes. many people are losing money, yeah. and they, you know, the whole they, thing, every, dude. I remember the very first. Time, this was when I was still starting out in Phoenix. And I was, I was. It, it was a tough man contest, uh, but I was already a professional in, in the professional ranks in Phoenix. And, but this was a tough man contest, and I was doing a fight where this guy was a hometown guy. And um, so he gets knocked down. He gets up a little wobbly. He's okay, but I, I, okay, I'm going to let you continue to fight. No sooner than I let it go, boom, he gets knocked down again. Now, this time when he gets up, he's really doing one of these numbers, and I stopped the fight, and the crowd went berserk. No, <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I have to tell you, I've never experienced that before. You know, it's the first time, and I'm thinking, oh, man, I, I, I messed up. Oh, I, you know, oh, and I, I, I'm, going, I'm going to my corner, and the executive, executive director at the time, uh, John Montano, was uh, to, my, to my left, and I said, oh, I can't look down at Johnny's. He's going to yank me out this ring. And then uh, finally I mustered up enough uh, strength or confidence to look down at John. He went perfect. Mm. I was like, wow. And right then and there I learned three things. Number one, forget what the crowd says. Number two, the only one you have to de- deal with is the commission. Number three, believe in yourself. That's right. Believe Absolutely. In yeah. <laughs> believe in yourself. Yes. Yeah, I mean, what an intimidating position to be yeah. in that whole time, you know. Yeah, that's that's wild, man. Yeah, <laughs> well, good good on you, man, for keeping uh, keeping with it for such a long time—thirty oh, yeah. years in the same position. That's oh yeah, but 
you love it and that's what's important that's the thing yeah, yeah. you still training in any martial arts these days uh, i don't train like 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 i used to yeah. um yeah i had an operation on, on my knee you know so i had to kind of you know uh take it easy but i still work out yeah yeah yeah. Way more than me, I might <laughs> add. Uh, and I always try to get in there, but I swear I got to do better. <laughs> oh, we can all do better, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, beautiful, man. Yeah, I need to get in as well. I was just talking to a friend of mine who's black belt in jiu-jitsu, and, <laughs> you know, I'm like, God, why did I stop? I mean, I know why I stopped the freaking pandemic, but why didn't I get back into it yeah. right at the end? Yeah. You know, excuses, yeah. excuses, yeah. and excuses in my head. <laughs> yeah. So I got to get my ass back out there as well. <laughs> And dive right back into it, man. Mm. So, uh, but yeah, so um, another project going on is uh, sort of what we're doing right here, BK, right? Mm. Yes, yes, of course. You know, so we got, a, uh, you might have a few plans in the works. I know you don't want to disclose too much quite yet, but mm. maybe uh, maybe a little bit of a teaser for us. Well, um, of, of course, you know, we're doing this podcast now to, to help introduce uh, uh, some of the things we have coming up in conjunction with Mr. Jason here. Oh, um, I thank you. you know, because we all know what a good team gets us. We win. Mm -hmm. You know, you got a good team, you have a good foundation, you, you bring the right aura to what you're doing, then it's not hard. There's no hardness to it. Whatever you come up with, you, you can handle it. So yes, we will be doing um, a show called Live Vegas Live Now. That's what it's called by Believe Entertainment. Um, on that show, we'll be having a plethora of things as, as far as sit-downs with um, various artists and, and entertainers in town, along with Jason. We'll be doing a lot of guest starring um, from your show and, and mine. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to seeing what that, uh, what that brings, man. I'm excited about that whole uh, possibility of, uh, of events coming our way, man. Okay. And uh, hopefully maybe even some, uh, some live uh, performances oh yeah possible oh yeah with some See, of the new resources to, he's squeezing it out he's squeezing <laughs> it out but the guarantee without a doubt that's yeah. definitely what we're trying to do here that's beautiful man well i'm definitely happy to be on board man i'm definitely glad i get to speak with people like mm -hmm. like tony here yeah thank you you know you're, you're an amazing person man it's, it's an honor to have you on the podcast thank you my honor thank yeah you. Yeah. And, I mean, and he's got so much to offer. We can't even do it one time. We got to, you know, we're going to have to break him up. Have, we got to have him back. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> man. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. we we'll come back in and do yeah. like a fight recall or something. Yeah, <laughs> things like that where, where he'll be hosting a couple shows yeah. here and there. Like, yeah. You know, so yeah. we're going to do this family thing and, and we, we're going to make everybody happy. And uh, we're going to really give you something to look forward to more than what you actually been having. Actually, an uh, addition to it. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. All are welcome. Mm -hmm. You know, I, uh, I, I, I love, I feel like everybody, you, you know, no matter what they think, they all have a beautiful story to tell in this, this world, man. This is true. And I'm always interested in hearing it. Yeah. And usually when I put someone in front of me like this, actually every time I put someone in front of me like this, it hasn't, mm -hmm. it hasn't been bad yet. That's you right. know, everybody has something very interesting and unique to bring to the table. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I think that's beautiful, man. And I love Great. offering people the, uh, the platform to accomplish that. And, Great. you know, to realize, you know, mm -hmm. some people get take themselves a little too serious. They're a little too hard on themselves or don't think enough of themselves. And that's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. By yeah. A hundred, times a hundred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. Look at Tony. He just he just showed us. He, he, he tells yeah. you, you know, be ready. Mm -hmm. Prepare yourself. Mm -hmm. Have faith in who you are or have faith in who you want to be mm -hmm. and, and take the steps to get there. Mm -hmm. You know, don't let others tell you what you can't do. That's the biggest failure that we all have. I've been there, um, mm. and I'm glad I've gotten over myself. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, man. And me too, man. You know, it's, mm. it's, it's hard out there, and, and, and quitting's the easiest, oh, yeah. easiest thing to yeah. do. You can yeah. just say, I'm not good yeah. enough, and you can bail. Mm. And, uh, and, yeah, and I love seeing amazing people mm. like my friend Tony here yeah. who's <laughs> just, uh, you know, shown how far you can really come in this world Absolutely. if you just believe in yourself. Absolutely. You know, never be afraid to fail. Yeah. You know, you, know, you, you, got to, you have to step out on that limb to be successful or to be great at something. You, you know, go. if you stay in the, the safe zone, you know, you're just standing there spinning your wheels. You know, get on that expressway and, uh, you know, see where it takes you. I love it, man. 
I absolutely love it. So, uh, what do you got coming up next, man? You got a big fight in, coming up, or well, uh, where actually, can people I see did, you next? Actually, I just did a fight this yeah. past week on the ESPN. Oh, okay. And stuff. And uh, <clears throat> the next big fight we have is in September uh, with uh, Canelo, Canelo Alvarez and the oh. Triple G. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Yeah, and, uh. yeah, yeah. Now, so. Um, like I say, you know, in between that, you know, I just, you know, try to stay in shape and, and, uh, stay motivated and, and, you know, keep everything going because, you know, you know, people don't realize as referees, we get tied up in there too. Oh, I bet. It. It's, it's physical. <laughs> oh yeah. Especially it's, breaking those guys up, man. Oh man. <laughs> it's yeah. physical in there and stuff. So, oh yeah. Uh, so, you know, like I say, I just stay motivated because I have a love for it. Uh, the sport. I stay motivated because I have a love for singing. And so whatever, I, you know, I have a love for it, you know, it just, just it keeps me motivated. Well, that's beautiful, mm-hmm. man. That's absolutely beautiful. And we're going to have to have you back on the show when the album's done. Yeah, you got and, it. And uh, we'll yeah. play some tracks. We'll yeah. talk about the uh, production process, the yeah. songwriting process, and yeah. we'll talk some more about some fights, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> dig it. And, uh, yeah, so how about, uh, I think that's uh, right around the, uh, the mark that I like to push. So uh, let's, let's uh, get the heck out of here, guys. Yeah, I really appreciate right. you uh, giving me your time, man, coming on the podcast, talking about new projects. Same here. And, uh, and BK, man, I look yeah. forward to doing a lot of cool stuff with you. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, the future is looking bright for us, my friend. Yeah. And uh, I think this is going to be uh, amazing. We grow, grow real rapidly together. So. Yeah. Uh, let me do my thing, which is uh, thanks for watching the podcast. I love you, bud. Thank uh, you. Yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, give us a like, subscribe, ring the bell, follow us on social media, support us on Patreon and PayPal, and uh, definitely follow Tony and BK on social. You guys got social media and all that stuff. I'm oh, assuming, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah follow absolutely. the guys. <laughs> and uh, links and everything will be in the description below. And uh, yeah, and we'll be having Tony back on talking about his uh, his new album coming out uh, whenever whenever that happens you'll see it it'll be up it'll be up so yeah uh, this has been To the Fulls with Jason Froberg peace peace, peace. <laughs> thank you for watching To the Fulls with Jason Froberg you can check out more podcasts right here and subscribe by clicking right here